Hi, my name is Stuart Maxwell, and in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about an experience I had with a client uh, just the other day. Now, it doesn't have anything to do with what I do for work, but um, I was having a conversation, and it was very interesting. The client said to me that they were having issues with hiring good people for a um, construction company in a project manager role. Uh, the issue they were having was that they were putting a job posting up on places like Indeed and LinkedIn and the quality of candidates that they were getting just didn't fit the profile that they needed. Uh, and they also had people that wouldn't stay for very long after they were hired. So I said to them, like, I think the issue that you're experiencing is you're putting a job posting online for everyone to see. And they even told me they were getting applications from all over the world, even for a local role, which didn't make much sense. Um, so I said, it's almost like you're fishing in the ocean for a largemouth bass instead of fishing in a pond that's only been stocked with largemouth bass. And that's where you want to be fishing. And this comes from my sales experience. So I suggested to them, if you're looking for a project manager in the Toronto area, uh, in the construction industry, why don't you just type that into LinkedIn in that exact manner, you'll come up with probably over a thousand candidates that are currently project managers in construction, working for your competitors or other firms. Some of them might be looking for a change, looking for something different to be treated better. So you can take that list that you come up with and shortlist it to a hundred and start sending out messages to them that say something to the effect of, uh, hey, we're uh, growing as a company, looking for top talent and want to know if you're interested in having a conversation. Simple as that. From that 100 people, you'll get 20 to 30 of them will respond, uh, showing some interest. And from there, you can narrow it down to the one or two top candidates that you want to hire. Um, so instead of getting underqualified or unqualified people from around the world sending you applications over the course of two or three weeks to try and find a candidate, you are going to spend a day to two days sending messages to 100 gainfully employed qualified candidates of which you'll pull one to two uh, of the best to be able to hire out of that pool and it'll be a much shorter time frame for you to fill the position uh, less effort and better quality just makes sense it doesn't even cost like it costs you money to post the posting but it wouldn't cost you anything to do to run that search so that's what i suggested to them and uh, we're yet to see how successful it is, but if it works in client acquisition of new customers, there's no reason why it won't work in acquiring top talent. So I think the team that you have for your business is so integral to the success of your business, it's important that you have the best people on your team. And you're not going to get the best people when you're trying to find a needle in a haystack. You're better off looking for the best, sharpest needle in a stack full of needles. All right, so um, if you're struggling with hiring right now and you have the same challenges, uh, again, it's, it's not what I do specifically, but um, I recommend you give that a shot. Use the power of LinkedIn to, to shortlist top talent and send out some messages just like you're prospecting for customers. Best of luck.